All right, let's go ahead and take a look at the uh, little elbow areas or whatever we're going to call that thing for the back legs. I'm going to go ahead and scoot the feet out. If I tap W with symmetry on, you can see I'm going to I'm going to make a little space there. Whoops. And I think as flared up as this is, it's going to be it's going to be kind of difficult to. Uh, Oops, let me hit Control N. If you hit Control S, it'll take a screenshot effectively. So that's what happens if I, if I, or maybe it's Shift S. Control S is safe. So Shift S will be a screenshot, which will basically just leave whatever you happen to have. And it, it, it can be fine if you want to compare stuff, but if it's, uh, if it's in the way, just hit Control N, and it will, and will be gone. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to use Q Mesh Poly Group All to basically just collapse this ring here like that. So now I have less stuff to worry about uh, intersecting or, or crashing through the uh, our little cloth boundary thing here. Kind of line that up a little bit better. And let's see, I think I could totally retop this, uh, but there may be a faster way. Let's just duplicate our little leg. I'm going to isolate just the yellow poly group by clicking on it, holding control and shift with select direct as the, the brush option there. And then I'm going to delete hidden. And we've got this extra edge there and one over here and one over here, and that's going to maybe cause a little bit of tr trouble. So we'll just get rid of it with the uh, insert edge loop option there, set to remove by holding the alt key. And we'll do another Q mesh. You can kind of see how quickly and conveniently we can create that new geo. And now we just need to scoot it down. So I'm going to mask this ring off here. We'll go to select lasso. And just start moving the stuff in. Doesn't have to be super clean initially. There's one thing that I'm missing that I, I, I want to make sure that I add in before we get too much further, which is that in the original one, oh look, you can see there's something down there. Let's just go ahead and hold uh, Control and Alt or Control Shift and Alt. We can get rid of uh, get rid of that extra geo. But anyway, what I was going to say is, over here we've got this substructure suggested that we need to make sure exists in some form here on this geo. So I'm going to get it positioned a little better. Uh, this this uh, upper intersection we're going to go inside, and the lower intersection we're going to go outside. Something like that. Using Alt here, just to hop between the two the two sub tools. So this is what I mean by inside and outside. Like we go inside this uh, upper armor and outside the lower armor. So I'm going to add another edge loop there. Bold it out a bit. It's okay if all this stuff is a little irregular. We want it to feel kind of organic. And I think for this, I want there to be more of an intersection. So I'm just going to pull this stuff up a bit. So there's no, no chance of there being any gaps that show up. And this might work for our flat area. So we'll just add, oops, increase that. And just complete. You can see it's a little uneven, so let's go through and I think we just need to adjust a couple of these verts and it should feel pretty good. And I could have absolutely just retopped this and that probably would have been just fine, but this might, might just save a little bit of effort. Let's see what happens if I do an inflate. I just want this to be thicker. But not the outside, just the inside. So I'm going to isolate this. Great, and then we can do an auto groups. And 
And it would be cool if there was a bit of a like a, a bevel going the other direction on this. So I'm going to add an edge loop there and an edge loop there, and then we can just kind of get rid of that one. And you can see now we have a little bit better of a transition. Something that feels kind of soft. Maybe we do this. Actually, we can't see the inside of that, so it doesn't make any difference. There we go. All right, let's turn solo off. Kind of see what we're looking at here. And I think I'll just go ahead and, and uh, duplicate this and scoot it over to the other side. After confirming, it feels fairly consistent. So this has a nice curve on it, which I kind of like. Even though maybe it doesn't make sense if this thing bends in kind of a linear fashion, but whatever. Doesn't actually have to work. This has to look cool. I'm sure there's an animator out there who would disagree with me. But this is my tutorial, so I get to do what I want. Okay, let's see. Um, we've only got one, I guess we have two. I was going to say we've only got one edge loop there in the middle. But we have, we can sort of even that spacing out just a little bit. Cool. And I think that looks good. Let's go ahead and just duplicate it. And I'm going to use the transpose tool here, just a little bit easier for me to get this thing into position. And I'm going to want to make some changes similar to what I did uh, the first time through. Which one is it? I think I can hide there. Okay, so this needs to scoot out a bit. So we have plenty of room to work with. And we can probably get rid of this flared piece of geo here. We'll just use the Q mesh. Ooh. So there may be some different arrangement here. Let me hit solo to get this other stuff out of the way. We should just be able to drop down, maybe because that's the same poly group. So let's isolate it. I'm not sure why it would have worked the first time and not the second time, but hey, you know, whatever. All right, so that's that piece there. So now if we drop it in, let's see if it works. A uh, non-symmetric operation. All right, let's, so what that means is like, it's just different on the other side and whatever. You can see obviously something strange going on there. So we'll just, uh, we'll just delete this half there, which I think I've got to turn symmetry off. We can do a delete hit it. And now we're not going to get any more issues with uh, non-symmetrical geo while we are doing our key mesh, and there we go. Cool. All right, and we could just mirror this over to the other side when we're done with it, which won't take too much longer. Okay, and now we can dial this guy in. I'm gonna turn off the sub dynamic subdivision for just a moment. So we wanna go inside the bigger piece, probably adjust the position a little bit here. And we'll scoot that back. With the brush size as big as it is right now, it's going to be, we're going to be affecting the entire piece of geo, so might require a little bit of finesse. Make that brush size a little smaller, perhaps. All right. So you can see we've saved a significant amount of time on that back leg by making a duplicate of the other one. We'll just kind of figure out what's going on with the spacing here. Tap the F key. Maybe it feels like a little big under here. So let's just compress it a bit. I kind of want to keep an eye on this piece here and make sure we don't 
can go over the line. All right, cool. So in the next video, we will go ahead and add the cloth stuff. And then after that, I think we'll begin moving into some of the other interesting hard surface stuff that we can do to add detail to the rest of the model.